Hey everybody, this is Stephanie in Nashville, and today I wanted to talk to you. I was able to pick up the Sigma Professionals Brush Kit, all eight of the brushes, um, and I really like them, and I wanted to go through them and tell you what I think about each brush. So, here we go. Let me show you a quick overview. You, it comes with um, four large face brushes and then four smaller brushes. Um, and I think you can buy them, like you can buy these, or you can buy those, or you can buy them in a whole kit. And that's what I did. I think to get all eight brushes is 99 bucks, which is a little pricey, but um, they're really great, unique, fabulous brushes. And I do have an affiliate link below in case you're interested. So I will start, I guess I'll start with the small ones, because I bet a lot of you have already seen the big ones. So what you get, and I'll tell you the numbers, I don't know what they're called offhand, is, let's see, let me put them in order. You have a P80, which is a small flat top. You have a P82, which is a small round top. You have a P84, which is a small angled. And a P86, which is a small pointed brush. These might look a little... I just washed them, so they might be, they're a little bit wet. So let me sh tell you what I've uh, found that are good uses for these. On the flat top, this one is really good if you have um, acne scars or just any kind of scars that you want to cover up. This one is really good at dotting a concealer on, particularly if you have a liquid concealer, like I'm currently using the... Maybelline Dream Whip Mousse Concealer, and you can just dot that right on. I don't really have much of a problem with blemishes, but every once in a while I'll get them on my cheek or on my chin, and I think that's what the flat top brush is best for. Next, we've got the round brush, and I, I looked at some videos on the Sigma website that kind of explained what each of these brushes were for, and you know, all in all, I agree with, with you know what they're doing. The Precision Round Brush is kind of a multi-use tool. You can use it for all kinds of things. But what I found it to be most helpful for is for um, cream shadows and or um, eyeshadow bases. So if you swatch on your Urban Decay Primer Potion or if you have a, a cream shadow that you like to wear on your lid that you wear a lot of, this one is great for that. It's a good full-size brush. You can really get in there and... and get it kind of worked in. That's probably the most utilitarian brush in the lot. It's a good one. If you're just going to pick up one of the small brushes, you might consider that one. Next I've got the P84, which is a small angled brush. Now this is the brush that I was having the most trouble finding a use for, I'll say. Um, you know, they were saying to use it for, um, you know, defining, but it is just too small for me to define with. Like, you know, I'm not going to use that in my hairline or my cheekbone. Like, I don't have a lot of definition right there anyways. And I was having kind of a hard time, you know, finding a use for this. It's nice for blending. It's great for buffing and concealer in the edges. But altogether, I think this is the weakest brush of all eight, is the P84. Finally, I've got the P86, which is the Precision Tapered. When I first got it, I thought it would probably be the one that I use least. But it is really nice for getting in and buffing in concealer underneath your eye, in the corners, um, a lip outline. It's really good at all of that sort of thing. So, I like this brush a lot. Sorry, my husband interrupted me. So, next I've got the, the full-size brushes. Um, I think that... These are some of the best brushes that are on the market. They're certainly the best brushes that I have ever tried. That's not to say that I have tried an extensive amount of brushes. Most of the brushes that I've had up to now have been, um, you know, come in kits or I bought one-offs here and there from Sephora. I don't have much experience with MAC brushes. So, but here's what I think about these. They're so dense and compact and they really, they're fabulous brushes. So, the way I use them, I use this F82. Well, I guess I'll go in order. The F80 is the one I actually had this one previously, and, that, and I loved it so much that I decided to buy the whole kit. So, I have two of these. Um, in the past, I had used this for foundation application. I, essentially, what I would do is I would dot it on, or I would use just a regular brush 
and dot it on all over. Maybe work it in a little bit and then buff it in with this. But I found, now that I have the full kit, that the flat top brush, while it's still great for that, the round top brush is actually a little bit better at buffing in foundation. So I use the F82 to buff in foundation and I go back to the F82 set with powder. And that's really what I use these two brushes for. Um, you know, you don't want to really dip a wet brush in your powder, so I find that it's kind of necessary to have two brushes. Previously, when I was using this, the flat top for foundation, I was using the e.l.f. powder brush to apply my powder, and I really like that brush for a $3 brush. It's a, it's a good deal, but now that I have these two, I find that I'm not using the e.l.f. powder brush at all. I just use these two for foundation and for uh, powder. And then there's also the F84 angled brush and the F86 tapered kabuki. This one is fantastic for blush. It just fits right on your cheekbone. Sorry, it's a little wet from where I washed it. Um, do you need to spend, I don't know how much these are, $14, $16, I guess, on a blush brush? No, it's not totally necessary, but it is a great brush and I use it every day. Um, the Angled Kabuki, I was concerned that I probably wouldn't use this one that much, but I, I actually do. It's really fantastic for bronzing, which I didn't do any of today. But if you want to define a little bit, or if you want to add to your hairline, it's great for that. It's great for highlight, too. Uh, typically, I use my blush brush for highlight on top of that, but I guess I could use, I was saying that I thought that this small angled one was the weakest brush in the lot. I, I suppose I could use this one for blush and then this one for highlight just on top of the cheekbone. So at any rate, um, if you're thinking about buying these brushes, you will not be disappointed. Um, I think that the best brushes in the lot, if you were only going to pick up a couple, are going to be the rounded kabuki, the flat top kabuki, and the rounded Pre precision round is what it's called. I guess I could have told you the names because they're right on there. So let me know if you have any questions. Obviously you can check out my link below. There'll be a coupon and if I can find one, I can all, usually you can find 10% off. So that's what I got for you. Let me know. Bye.